Hello, I'm Philip Maris. Uh, I'm very pleased to be able to interview Andre, who's going to tell us about uh, how they're using the theory of constraints in, in their company. Andre, tell us about uh, yourself, your company, and uh, the theory of constraints that you use in many areas, but it, uh, for instance in, in production. Uh, good day, Philip. Um, I'm Andre Tustin. I'm from Aerosuit Aviation in South Africa. Uh, we in the aeronautical engineering business. Um, yes, we started implementing theory of constraints about two and a half years back in 2014, if I'm correct. And um, I think it's it's made a huge difference in our business thus far. And so you, you, you're using it, uh, uh, the, the replenishment solution for your for your incoming flow. You're also using it to manage uh, the production flow with a buffer system. Uh, could you describe that? Basically, we use the Symphony software that uh, basically does buffer management for you for all our bought outs, in other mm -hmm. words, bought in products. Um, it works on a very simplistic buffer management uh, system. Um, great and v again, very simple to use. Um, the whole idea is to actually set up a buffer on your stock and you always purchase the top of green. Um, it's very easy for your procurement team to use. And um, it uh, reduces your stock outs to hopefully less than 1%. Currently we are on 3%, but we're working towards the ideal. Okay, and then you've got uh, zero constraints buffer management throughout your production process. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yes, that was a, a sort of in-house developed, uh, we call it a shop floor data collection. Mm -hmm. And basically for all the uh, made-in product in Erisut, we actually uh, grew up made a buffer management system within Erisuit and that's the way how we actually launch and actually manufacture all our products and that's the call it the way way we work in Erisuit these days. Absolutely and so the, the, the buffer management for those that don't know you have a, a, a system of colors uh, green for things that are uh, on, on track uh, yellow for things that are getting a, a little late red for things that are getting dangerous and uh, black for things that are overdue, yes. right? And that's the system for prior for managing priorities throughout the all throughout the workshops. Yeah, well, again, like I said, it's a, almost like a simple robot system. Yeah. Uh, green is good. <laughs> green yeah. uh, orange is obviously starting to walk into a danger zone. We should yeah. watch out, and then obviously red uh, should be avoided where we can, but it's still okay. But black is a total no go. <laughs> yeah. So uh, again, very simplistic tool to use. Um, shows you where to focus at the right time and the which right areas. Um, and yes, um, we've seen some good, good sort of turnaround times in Erisut and uh, obviously optimal stock mm -hmm. and work in progress. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that.